The Chainsmokers recall performing at Amazing Ambani pre-wedding festivities in Switzerland, probably the coolest wedding. The Ambani family hosted lavish weddings for Akash Ambani and Isha Ambani, and are pulling out all the stops in the run up to the wedding of Anant Ambani this year. His pre-wedding celebrations have taken place across the world. A few months ago, global pop star Rana performed at one of the pre-wedding events in Jamnagar, but she wasn't the first musical guest to have performed at an Ambani wedding-related event. Beyonce, Chris Martin, Katy Perry, Pitbull, Akon, and the Chainsmokers have all performed at earlier Ambani events. In a recent interview, the Chainsmokers duo spoke about having performed not just for the Ambanics, but also the Kodak family. The duo revealed that they were in India to perform at Uday Kotak's son Jay Kotak's wedding in 2023. Jay had been to 16 of our shows, which was amazing. They shared on a podcast with Raj Shimani. Describing the event as really fun, they added, we were there for the first or second day, it was like a 12-day event. After that, we went back to the US and moved on with our lives and then every day. For the next two weeks, I was like, this wedding is still going on, and it just kept getting bigger and bigger. They also spoke about performing at Akash and Bonnie's pre-wedding event in 2019, held in Street Moritz, Switzerland. The pre-wedding also saw a performance by Chris Martin and was attended by the likes of Ranbir Kapoor, Alia Bhatt, Karen Yohar, and Aishwarya Rai, among others. It was amazing. It was probably the coolest wedding I've been to, said Alex Paul, one half of the electronic music duo. The Chainsmokers were also very curious about arranged marriages in India, and spoke about how American weddings are different from the Indian weddings that they've attended so far. Well, the US has some fascinating weddings, if you want to zoom in on the the weird ST that Americans do for weddings. It's more of a family and a cultural thing. Maybe in India that's not the case. But in the US, some people love big, grand weddings, but it also depends on if your parents are still together or not. If your parents have been divorced for 20 years and hate each other, maybe let's not spend too much on the wedding, Alex said with a laugh.